In the not too distant future, next Sunday AD, there was a guy named Joel, not too different from you or me. He worked at Gizmonic Institute, just another face in a red jumpsuit. He did a good job cleaning up the place, but his boss didn't like him, so they shot him in the space. I'm up to speed so far. Your point is that Big Bird cannot be considered a puppet because of his or her, uh, its size. Right, right, and its size, and don't forget the feet. Once a puppet has feet, it ceases being uh, a puppet and starts being a costume. Well, what about Topo Gigio? He was a puppet with feet. Oh, give me a break. If you want to get technical, Lamb Chop had feet, too. Topo Gigio was an Italian black art rod puppet. Come on, Crow, that's a subcategory. Oh, look who's arguing semantics now. Well, Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Satellite of Love. I'm Joel Robinson. Looks like we've stumbled upon the robot's weekly ontological discussion about the nature of puppets. And the symbiotic relationship to man. Right, and their symbiotic relationship to man. Let's watch the fireworks. See? All right, if you're so smart, what would you call H.R. Puffin stuff? Well, that's a costume. Remember the puppet paradigm. Feet plus inarticulated mouth means costume. What about Yoda? Well, Yoda was a humanly articulated floating armature creature used in combination with radio contorted servos and air bladders. What about uh, puppet or costume, Tom? Come All on. All right, you got me. I don't know. See, I rest my case. Okay, here's one for you. What would you call Senior Wences, the ventriloquist who built his career out of talking to his hand? I'd call that a cry for help. Interesting. Rant, unlike any other. Okay, if you two are ready, let's begin. Here's a quick pop quiz on the many varied celebrity puppets in show business past and present. And I want you to define the genius of each of these characters I list. Genius. We'll begin with some characters from television. Cambot keeps score and watch the clock. Ready? Let's begin. Rolf the dog. Crow. Uh, puppet. Puppet. Yeah, could you be more specific? Tom Servo. Muppet. Right, exactly. Okay, next. Meow Meow Kitty. Crow. Uh, puppet. Uh, what kind of puppet? Uh, hand. Yes, and? Uh, lame hand puppet. Yes, yes, very good. Okay, next. Kukla. Oh, boy, this is tough. Kukla. Kukla or Ollie, I'll take either one. Oh, 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 oh I Crow. know that one. Uh, hard shell head, soft cloth body, hand puppet with sock sleeve coverlet. Very good, I thought you were out of the running for that one. Now these next are going to get a little bit harder. Okay, let's continue. Mm -hmm. Spitting image. Oh, oh, outrageous and wickedly funny foam and latex puppets. Okay, correct, DC Follies. Uh, shameless Sid and Marty Croft ripoff. Very good, ooh, the Mads are calling. Ooh. Hello, Button. Let's slam straight away into this week's invention exchange. Big noses. Uh, that's right, uh, the super schnoz. El grande vosotros. What? Big noses. Uh, right, right. Uh, Durante, eat your heart out. Big honkers. Coming at you. In 3D. <laughs> Do I smell pie in the oven? Uh, not in this building. Say, doctor, a sports scent tonight? Well, what's the point of the big noses anyway? Well, they're just really big, you know? Just think of the stuff you could do with them. Very useful. Now I can brown nose myself. Wow, you and I are kind of on the same wavelength. I thought of my invention exchange as being this big head. Who's that guy with the big head? Hey, Joe, can you big help me with my head. algebra? Sure, head. no problem. Big it's a snap with my new with big, big head. head. Well, say, Joel, do people make fun of you now that you have a big head? Oh, sure, big people are naturally curious. But then I explained to them that I've got a really big head. Big head. 
There's no uh, Joel, are you in any pain? No, just a really big head. So I guess we can say that you got a big head there, huh? Yeah, you can. Big is all outdoors. It's real big, sirs. Yeah. What do you think? I knew a man in Chicago once that had a big head. Uh, no, it was nowhere near that big. Oh, uh, doctor, I don't mean to stick my nose into your business. <laughs> <laughs> but shouldn't we really be getting to the movie? <laughs> uh, right you are, my long-nosed companion. Joel, your experiment this week is going to be like biting down on a double-edged razor blade. It's called Fugitive Alien 2, and it's every bit as stanky as part one. Send him the movie, Frank. Hey, this is Sandy Frank. This is F Sandy Frank on drugs. Any questions? <laughs> Uh-oh, Fugitive Alien 2, Electric Boogaloo, The Heretic, Ooh. Nerds in Paradise, On the Move, Citizens on Patrol. Star Force times two. Two times the action, two times the confusion. Kaboom. <laughs> I love this music. Please remain seated until the building has come to a complete stop. Mick Malixvi, he's the Scottish guy in charge of copyright. Yeah, copyright. Yeah, yeah that's right. Hey, this music is perky. I'm feeling really good. Yeah. Ooh. Hey, this is gonna be fun, guys. I'm feeling really... Ah, uh, who are we kidding? This is a Fugitive Alien sequel. We're in for the two most painful hours of our lives. <laughs> Come on, you guys. We gotta be strong. Try not to fall apart. Come on, we've been through too many Sandy Frank films together to let him defeat us now. A thousand light years away from our solar system lies Valna Star. We know. A mysterious planet with an enriched atmosphere which imparts superhuman strength Taped to all it. who dwell upon it. Valna Star is ruled hey. by Lord Hal an evil genius who has created a race of warriors, the Star Wolves. Neat. On a mission of destruction to Earth, Star Wolf Ken is ordered to kill a child. His refusal starts a fight which results in the death of his best friend. Uh -huh, uh -huh. As punishment, Ken is set adrift in outer space. And forced to watch this but film. Ken is found and rescued by the crew of the Earth spaceship Bacchus III. Uh -huh. Soon he becomes a member of the crew. Ken's girlfriend Rita has been sent to find and destroy him. But it is she who is subsequently killed. In goofy scenes it like this. It was you who fired that shot. It was you. Yeah, so? Oh. What of it? Rita, meet her maid. Hey! Oh, oh, my chickster! Hey! <laughs> Only one memory of Rita remains. Her golden Valna medallion. Which Ken hawked for a pack of cigarettes. Ken will never forget her. Or the oh, visa oh, bill she ran oh, up, huh? Oh, it's over then. Amen. Um, Is it Amen now or Now Ken and his Earth comrades are off in quest of new adventure. Their mission, to fly to Cesar, find a secret weapon, and destroy it. And hopefully do a little Let's shopping. Let's look at that wound, Ken. Oh, good. It's healing beautifully. <gasps> OK? Hey, I'm this. finished. Oh, I love Ken. He is my friend. Well, well, I, I must say you're a real Ken. angel of mercy. Ken, you never fuss like this friend. when I get hurt. You always I tell me, him. bear it like a man. Uh, come on, Dan. Your problem is you're jealous. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's really teasing. Oh, yeah. okay. Terrific. I love Ken. Dan, just keep your eye on the course. I don't trust Curly. There's something peculiar about him. Mm-hmm, that's good <laughs> blow. I've heard you're one of Cesar's top experts in advanced defense technology. You heard right. Uh -huh. And you probably know all about that uh, secret weapon Cesar mm -hmm. is said to have imported from another yeah. planet. Pretty much. Is there any truth to those rumors, Colonel? They say it could blow up the universe. Or worse. Where did you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, occasionally I tune into the intergalactic grapevine. Captain <laughs> <laughs> hey, Joe, shut up. I take it. You're trying to enlist my cooperation for a mission you're about to undertake. <gasps> Before I say yes or no, I'll need to know a bit more about your intentions. I'll love you all the days of my life. I don't know whatever <laughs> gave you the idea we're planning a mission. We're just out for a ride. A little excursion to discover more facts about our universe. <laughs> you don't say. And how do I know I can trust you? 
This Ken fellow seems mighty suspicious to me. Mm. <laughs> Ken's just a bit of a loner. If you want, I'll call him in and you can talk to him yourself. Ken's a loner? How long before your Ken Colonel? is fixed? <laughs> Ken? Tammy? I want to see you. Oh, great. He found out about the keg. Flat point right there. Hmm? This is a girl officer's insignia. Say. How did you get it? Through a lot of hard work and a lot of pancake makeup. When you were sleeping, I heard you call a girl's name out loud. Oh, when I put your hand in warm water. Rita, I think. <laughs> I believe that was it. Does the name Rita mean anything to you? Uh, it's a Beatles song. Ken? This is our present position. Pegasus R2, IS4, right here. Here's the Spencer gifts. Distance to Cesar is Arola time. Arola, huh? Arola deck. Two, one, three, sir. Course three, seven is perfectly safe. It's when we switch to course T that we're likely to run into trouble. There's a huge black hole near R5 by nine. I don't no, know no, any way we can navigate dog around light it. to the left. Black hole, huh? Neat. It swallows up anything that comes anywhere near it. <laughs> I don't think we can risk it. Oh, look, another painting by Judy Chicago. Now back to our movie. This puts a new light on the conditions of our mission. A black light? The odds against success are extremely high. Mm. Well, then I'm extremely mm. high. <laughs> on the other hand, if you gotta go, I can't think of a better way. Hmm? Yeah. That's not funny, sir. I'll say it isn't. I don't want to vanish in thin air. When my time comes, I want to go out in glory. I want to be torn apart by Spoken animals. like a true woman and a naive one. <laughs> naive yourself. <laughs> Me so silly. Captain Joe, you don't necessarily have to get swallowed up in a black hole. But it helps. <laughs> if you charge your course carefully, you can go through a tunnel out to a white hole in safety. It's a tricky maneuver. Turkey? Where did you hear that? Where did I hear it? I'm afraid I don't remember. I guess it was at one of those scientific briefings I attended. Yeah, at my aunt's house or something. Uh. Mm. Ken, wait, you're walking down someone's throat. <laughs> wait a second, I didn't tell you the punchline. Come on. A little slip of the tongue and you gave your whole game away, didn't you? Yep. I don't understand. Do you find me pleasing? I know for a fact that only a handful of wolf attackers have ever made it through a black hole and still live to tell the tale. I only had to put two and two together to realize you're a star wolf. Who are you to judge? Oh, don't be a fool, Ken. I'm the only friend you've got here. What's up? What's going on? It's all my fault. Yeah, he was just showing him where his larynx was. I foolishly made a sarcastic remark about Earthlings. Ken was right to act as he did. Hmm. Yep. Ill-chosen words have been known to start wars. Yeah, like the sarcasm wars of 1999. <laughs> what a dipstick. I don't like that guy. And I don't like you either. The feeling is mutual, right? Oh, Rocky, who do you like? Captain, come up here, quick! Surprise! Surprise! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Look at that, sir. What do you make of it? Oh, it's one of those nut clusters. Looks like a meteorite. Quite a big one. Yeah. Just one thing's wrong. I don't see it on any chart. Hmm? By the time they get it on the chart, it'll probably have broken up. Like most rock bands. Oh, huh? good one. <laughs> yes, sir. Speak the truth. You yeah. bet. Amen. Looks like we're getting into hostile territory. We have to be on our guard. Rocky, take the controls. Uh, Rocky, back to your station. Yes, sir. Rocky, you hate Ken. Ken, you make goofy faces. Tammy, you love Rocky. Or, or Ken. Colonel, you're ruling. That's your seat there. But Captain... He said, uh, sit down. But he didn't say hey. Simon Says. He said Captain Says. Oh, wait a minute. Which is moving, the stars or the ship? Uh, stars? Pink Floyd on the headphones set the controls for the heart of the sun. It's broccoli. I hate broccoli. Mm. Wouldn't be pretty. You know, he's got Christy McNichol cheeks, you know, when you look yeah. at him. I don't wow. like this at all. Ken. Yes, sir. Destroy the meteorite with the forward laser. OK. Yes, sir. Whoa, 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 whoa. Captain Joe, we're still alive. That's the only thing that counts. No, it no, isn't. No, cleanliness is the only thing that counts. I won't feel safe while he's alive. Kill him. What do you think you're doing? We've got a mission to accomplish. I'm just going to remove an obstacle. Your eyebrow. <laughs> Ken, stop him! If he kills me, you're next! Easy, Rocky. This isn't the right moment. Out of my way. Rocky, hold your fire. Again! I'm sorry to say we still need him. Need him for what? We rescued him to guide us to Cesar, and he'll do it. Lock him up. Whatever you say, I just hope you know what you're doing.
I just want to say your makeup sucks. As long as this guy is traveling with us, our mission is threatened. We'll huh? never make it to Woodstock. Well, here you are. It isn't the royal suite, but it'll just have to do. You want room service? Dial nine. And there's a mint on the pillow. I need some towels! Listen to me. If you want to make it to Cesar in one piece, you need me to guide you. Any minute now, we'll be going by Demeter's star. It'll set us on fire! Let me out! Let me out! I'm gonna hold my breath till I turn blue! Oh, I'm already... Oh, I did it again. I'm already blue. Zing yourself there. <laughs> Diarrhea is like a storm raging inside you. I'm coming, Elizabeth. Ooh. He's hallucinating split ends. Mm -hmm. huh? oh. <laughs> Who am I trying to kid? I'm not sick. Mm -hmm. That's good, Emil. Oh, it's the cabin temperature. Oh, it's hotter than my great aunt's apartment. Twenty ten temperature. <laughs> that seems a bit high. Sunny side oh, of the street. It's even hotter outside. Uh, that calls for a drink. Right. Yeah. I'll go check it out. Okay. okay. Uh -huh. Wait a minute. Look at that star. You look at it. I'm bitter. I don't get it. That star. Why, that's the meter star. Oh, it should be bigger than a meter. How do we get here? It isn't on our course. Hmm. Ooh. Look at this. We're just drifting, sir. Mm hmm. Cesar isn't anywhere near here. Wow. We'll have to correct our course. Switch over to 730. Oh, what is that, traffic information? <laughs> it won't move. There's something wrong. Yeah, it's this movie. It sucks. <laughs> we must be caught in Demeter's magnetic field. All the controls are blocked. Man, if it's not one thing, it's another. Honey, I'm going to be Lock very in. late. I've got to see you right away. It's an emergency. Lock uh, in. You shouldn't uh, spend too much time away from the bathroom. Uh, oh, 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 could you armor I'm all back. my suit? Rocky. Oh. Again. Rocky. Again. Rocky. Again. He's wrong. <laughs> That's good, girl. <laughs> Captain, I scored another We're game. Back to normal. Phew. All engines at full thrust. Engines full thrust. That's full thrust. Yeah. Lame. Thank you. Look, huh? Looks like an aerosol can. I don't feel right about this at all. You and me both, pal. You and me both. Something suspicious. <laughs> we better get out of here. Or we'll be roasted alive. Huh? Oh, Rocky, no. I'm a paper boy. Come on. It was the salmon moose. Rocky, what's wrong? Oh, Rocky cubed it. <gasps> Pants too tight. I'm Sir, uh, uh, turning Japanese. Pain in my back. I really think so. Ma. What? Uh, Rocky. Oh, I'm feeling dizzy. Ken, take over. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, Captain! Ooh. She's looked better, hasn't she? <laughs> Tammy, it's all right. Captain, help uh, me! Oh, oh. oh, come on. You kids are just overtired. You're fighting sleep now. I want you to go to bed. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Those are just the after effects of the ultra high speed we needed to get through the black hole. Oh, You'll just have to sleep it off. I'll get you some medication. For me too, sir. All right. Here. Here. This For me too, sir. Take it. Sir? Yeah? Are you sure you'll be all right? You went through the black hole too. Yeah, I'll, I'll be, be okay. fine. I got my friend Don't Jack to help me. <laughs> what is he in an auto mask? Looks like it. Look at check it out. Oh, oh, chicken salad. Grab me a chick salad. What's the matter? Can anyone hear me? Sure. It's so hot. Where is all this heat coming from? No, you see, it's not the heat, it's the humidity. You see, the comfort index Listen is... to me! I've got something important to tell you! I'm the unsinkable Molly Brown! I think they could make bigger doors. <laughs> well, sir, how are they doing? Okay, I gave them something to calm them down. They're just gonna have to sleep it off. I do that a lot. Oh, still awfully hot in here. Yeah, turn up I the know. AC. Captain, mm -hmm. we really ought to move away as quickly as we can. 
I think we ought to boost the engines. Mm. Mm. Uh, curly fries are up, sir. Hmm? Oh, at least they spelled speed right. <laughs> Engine trouble. No, oh, I told you to check the oil. Didn't we fill it up in Eau Claire? OK, I'll take her up. Those daring young men in their jaunty dilapies. What is with you, sir? Did you eat those radishes again? Ooh, What's ooh, the matter? Ooh. Hmm? Dad, wake up. Wake up, you're late for cram school. Rocky, Rocky. Rocky. You, you got to wake up. You got to wake up. Rocky! Ah, oh, geez, he's been reading Bukowski again. Let me out of here! Hmm? Let me out of here! Oh, fooey. We have no time for you now. You just stay in here and stop all that yelling. Yeah, you'll just have to hold it. Do you notice this heat? What's causing it? I want to know exactly where we are. Enough of your questions. Be quiet. I'll just have to get back to you later. Bye. Listen to me. Pay attention. We mustn't get near to Meteor Star. Why not? This heat's coming from the engines. You little fool. <gasps> you little minx. Don't you, you realize fool. that the Meteor Star is about to explode? What's that? Really? You never said anything oh, about... Oh, looks like Captain Joe is drunk again. Uh, for those of you playing along at home, in Fugitive Alien 1, Captain Joe is portrayed as quite the drinking man. <laughs> now this. Oh, ooh. I kind of feel like him also. Oh, I'll be okay. I'm fine. <laughs> Something I ate, I think. Captain, focus. Focus. Help me get him off the floor. Oh, oh! Did you wipe my brow? Yeah. You don't look very good, well, you know. That's okay. Game my left arm is a little now. numb. I don't know. Yes, must have been a. Oh, I'm fine. So, <laughs> high speed. What's Captain? going on here? You're rolling. We'll let you out. Captain, listen to me. Uh -huh. You don't realize what's going on. This sort of heat is only generated by a star that's about to die. That's what's happening to Demeter, and we've got to get out of here. Oh, what's that? Okay. Then huh? it'll explode. Yeah. Listen, Ken, Colonel Yerulin is the only one who knows his way around here, and we're going to have to enlist his help. <sighs> okay, sir. Captain, oh. first we must find well, out what's wrong with the guys. Huh? All right. Oh, boy. Uh, no I'm, not, I'm feeling really bad. <laughs> Ken, let's go! Oh boy, I feel like I'm just sinking off a, a, a spooky drunk. Oh, oh, hey. oh, what happened, oh, buddy? Oh, oh, it's goodness, all over the sea! Get him out of here! here come take on, his leg! Tom Servo! Oh my god, Tom Servo's dead! He's dying, it must have been that movie! Oh man, we're losing him! A robot watches a bad film. It renders him unconscious. Next, on Emergency 911. Crow, you gotta step oh, out of Shabner oh, and help oh, me! Oh. It means the life of our friend Tom Servo! <laughs> but I must finish Tech Wars of Venusia, must direct Star Trek 9, the search for Spock's intelligence. Hooker's a good cop. Oh, he's a good cop. Oh, oh, you listen to me and you listen good. I need you to snap out of Shatner. I need you here now. Our friend's life ends in the balance. Oh, I'm sorry, Joe. I didn't know. I know, man. I know. Uh, but we got to get a little buddy out of the bone orchard, OK? Listen, I need you to run along and get the defibrillator. And I'm going to try to get our brother Tommy out of the Badlands. OK, all right. Come all right. on, man. Come on back. All We're right. all pulling for you, buddy. <laughs> hey, hey, Joel, is the defibrillator the thing that looks like a vacuum cleaner or a thing that looks like the battery charger? It's the thing that looks like the battery charger. Now, would you get it together, man, and get out here? It means some servo's life. All right, all right, all right. Uh, okay, uh, hold up, buddy's coming. Come on, old Tom. Come on back, buddy. Clear. Clear. <sighs> Nothing. Oh. Clear. Clear. He's coming back! He's coming back! Uh, Come on, Tommy! Uh, 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 Sean dumps it up to the plate now. A beautiful day here at Wrigley Field. Boy, let me tell you, perfect for an ice-cold Budweiser. Uh, and you know Lincoln carpeting it, man. Oh, uh, 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 Joel, Crow, what the heck happened to me? It's okay, buddy. You're among the living now. Oh, that was weird. I was walking down a long hallway, and at the end of it, there was a bright light and a kind man with a beard reaching his hand out to me, beckoning me. And he looked at me as I got closer and he said, 
Hey, buddy, can you spare some change? I want a cup of coffee. <laughs> oh, everything's a joke to you. That's great. We got commercial sign. We should have let you die. Ah, life. You guys just have no sense of humor. Oh, I, have to, sports. Sports. I have to check the Z oh, system. Baby. Over here. All right. Say. Hmm. Oh. Uh -huh. Peeky boo. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Uh, there it is, apartment 3B. <laughs> What is this, the super? <laughs> oh, cheap huh? Japanese crap. Look at that. Crying out loud. There we go. You know, you want to turn the power off before you work with something like that. But he's in rubber suit. Do -do 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 -do. What? Oh. Captain Joe? Ken here. Ken. I can't hold out uh. much longer. Hurry up. Whoa, Linda Blair all of a sudden. Are you all right? Captain. Trying to kill me with a forklift. Ah, oh, cheap Japanese crap. What? You're ruling here. What is it? Colonel, you're ruling. I'm worried about the captain. Please check on him. All right, right away. I'm doing it, jeez. <laughs> You know, apparently it's one of those things where if the taillight goes out, the whole thing shuts down. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Oh, Jeannie wants to get out of there. Look. <laughs> drink me, drink me. Come on and drink me. Captain Joe, is anything the matter? Oh, I'm captain. fine. Just reflecting on the Opata shots, young man. What's it's... wrong, Captain? Captain! Uh, I'd better take over the controls. Okay. You sit back there. Yeah, you sleep. I'll drive till Cleveland. If it's not one thing, it's another around this crazy ship. We're crying out loud. Hey! Hey, turn off your brights! Uh, Damn it! Turn the high beams! The high beams! Ken! We're getting closer! Get that engine fixed right away! Now it's up to Ken. Huh? The fate of the entire crew is in his hands. He will have to locate I, the short I, I, circuit somewhere in the system before the spacecraft gets closer to the exploding star. Otherwise, all is lost. I knew Votech would pay off. I'm a graduate of DeVry. Say. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we can get free HBO now. Woo! Colonel, I fixed it. Start the engines, let's get going. All right. Oh, that was Ken. He's working late. He'll be out for a while. I might as well go ahead and eat. This is a really important part to film here. Yeah. Now, where are my keys? I love to. Oh, they're wrong. Oh. oh. It isn't working. I can't make it start. That wasn't it. You better check it again. But Colonel, pop it a few times. I don't understand. It's got to work. Oh, got it. Oh, Sandy Frank, Sandy Frank. He eats a lot of boys and <laughs> Just wrapped a gum wrap around the fuse. <laughs> Colonel. Try it again. I'm sure it'll work now. Are you there? Now hang up on your end. Now hang up. I'm hanging up. <laughs> I love this song. What a way to die listening to the Tijuana Brass. <laughs> this is the song about the Buckus 3 crew. They're gonna die from all the heat. He tried to kill me with the forklift. Away. <laughs> that looks like a real uncomfortable Halloween costume. They got to keep going. They got to, to date with girl in hot pants. Uh, I know what it is. They're flying through developer fluid. Oh man, no more jello shots. I mean it. This is it. Now I quit today. Well, there's a drum major flying the ship now. Captain, we've got the engines working. Now if we can just get away from that star. Uh, just let me have my coffee first, okay? I'm not good without it. <laughs> 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 
This is the song this about the cruise condition. Just a few more seconds and they we'll be safe. They all feel like they're going to right you. you to your prisoner of the he tried to kill prisoner. me with the forklift. <laughs> What's going on? I, I, I... No, this is gonna be great. Speakers on the porch. Oh, wow. Yeah. That ought to get the cooling system going. Mm -hmm. Just one more connection. Okay. Good. <sighs> Looks good. Tastes good. Colonel, is good. I got good the for cooling me. system good for fixed. You. Can you get her on course? She's huge. It's no yeah. use. We're too late now. It's very hot. We've gotta go on. Try again. I can't make it. <laughs> Isn't it hot? Colonel, can you hear me? Colonel? Yeah, it's very hot. Hot in here. It's very hot. Hot in here. It's hot. It's, it's very. Oh no. We're getting closer to that star. Looks like I'd better take over. Fine, but towel off first or something. Ooh. Not a kid anymore. They're having the film steam cleaned right now, and they need it. Captain! I've got it fixed! It's all working again! Great, just in time to see us die. I've got it working! Get going! Oh, wait, whose turn is it to pass out? I'm, I'm thinking the audience know. is ready to pass mm. out about now. <laughs> ah, ah. Ah. What is he, starting the wild mouse ride? <laughs> Ignition! Yes. We're gonna make it! Colonel, faster! Full thrust! You want to go faster? Ah, yeah. Full thrust? No, no, not you, the engines! <laughs> Kid power, red, yellow, black, <laughs> white, we did unite! It. We, we did it, we did it, we killed 20 minutes of movie! Ooh. I'll take the controls. I guess you don't need old Captain Joe anymore. <laughs> Graduates, today you begin the journey of the rest of your life. We may never pass this way again and... Uh, uh, I'm missing graduation. Music started, oh no. Oh, looks like the temperature is coming down. <laughs> See, I'm not even stinky. <laughs> Thank you. Ken, get out of my seat. Hell, you're rolling. <laughs> you know, you both did a terrific job. I won't forget it. <laughs> this old crate pulled us through one more time. <laughs> you're cute. <laughs> both of you. Thanks again, Bacchus Three. Bacchus, good <laughs> job. Now you've done it again. <laughs> Mighty Jack. Yeah. Mighty Jack? I'm quite a guy, really. You know? So? Hey, Dan. Come on. We're going Rise fishing. I promise. How are you doing? Still a little grumpy. Is everybody all right? Not too bad. I feel great. Ready for a workout. Yeah, you got <laughs> spunk. I hate spunk. What is it? This is your morning call, sir. We'll be expecting you all downstairs in an hour for some tennis. Oh, is this the morning zoo, guys? Okay, I'll go string my racket. Say, what happened to room service? Tennis. Sorry, sir. I'm afraid our guests have to cook their own breakfast. <laughs> Enough of the good-natured ribbing. <laughs> Bye. You bet. I love it. LCI. Please hold your present position for the moment. We'll be giving you your landing instructions shortly. Shortly? What's the delay? They may have to clear a landing space for us. That's all. Message received. We're holding our position and waiting to hear from you. All our best to Joan and the kids. So, looks like they'll just uh, park there then. Oh. Park in the street. It'll be okay. I think I could speed things up if I had a word with them. Oh, Mr. Connections. Oh, Mr. Sarcasm. Colonel Yerulin calling Cesar headquarters. You ruling? Yep, we're number one. The Space Command was kind enough to rescue me from a Kararu prison. I can vouch for every one of the crew. We'd like to land on Cesar right away. Bite me? Is that official? Say, what's the matter down there? I'm used to having my official request dealt with immediately. Oh, do you? Did you hear that? We read you loud and clear. We just don't like we you. We have no Colonel Yerulin listed on our officer's roster. Don't talk nonsense. Check that roster again. I've been a senior officer in the Cesar Command for the last 20 years. Mm. Captain, I think there's some sort of a mistake. Starting with the script. Colonel Yerulin, it sounds like you're pretending to be someone you aren't. 
Nobody asked you. This insubordination is unheard of. Three weeks detention for Ken. Well, you did reveal a few vital military secrets to the Karans, oh, didn't you? Wait a second. You're saying I gave away vital information? Well, yeah. How did you find out about that? <laughs> By getting drunk? Anyway, now it seems we're all involved in this situation together. Yep. This is no trade mission. You're after that secret weapon, aren't you? Colonel, you're ruined. Your mouthwash just ain't making if it. We are after it. Then I think you're the least likely individual to lead us to it. They don't even know you down there. It's ridiculous. Bunch of idiots. Ship of fools. What the heck is going on? <laughs> oh, no, no. Oh, it's starting over! Oh, oh boy! I'm gonna bust it again. Really Let me tell you. To Is she really going out with him? That hmm. was just a warning. Ken, keep it cool. You're wrong. Those guys aren't kidding. I can't believe it! My own people would never dare shoot at me! Looks like they have. Engines full blast! Oh, you know, I just love the whole incoherent Mighty Jack quality of this film. Mm. <laughs> Could you repeat that, please? It's a I wet him. This week, join Johnny, Haji, Grace Bannon, and Bandit. <laughs> Johnny Quest. We're surrounded. They'll attack again any minute. Don't let insects spoil your garden party. Captain. P is a Dora? No. Oh, no. They're being attacked by Naralco Razors! Even the name says Merry Christmas. It, uh, I'm going to get them. It's okay. too dark to go out on your bike. Back here. Don't fire back. Try to make contact. Tell them it's a mistake. What are you, Captain Kirk, all of a sudden? <laughs> mistake? This is for real. Get ready to counterattack. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Magic booze bottle, take me away. <laughs> Holy! <laughs> I get it! <laughs> oh, is killing fun, Ken? Does it amuse you? Let's all watch Ken as he tries to kill the bad guys. He'll taste their steel, then they'll drink their own blood. They'll try to kill him with a forklift. I'm making this up as I Faster, go. pussy Ken. Kill, kill. All right, go. Like you've never goed before. I'll show him. I'll yeah. run away. Then they'll be sorry they picked on me. <laughs> Why is Ken behaving like this? Because it's bitter and because it's his heart. Bang, bang. Killing is fun. Oh, and he picks up the spare. Yeah. So, let's review the plot so far. They went into outer space and, uh, let's see, uh, oh, wait a minute, it's, uh, yeah. they went into space and it's on the tip of yeah. my tongue. Oh, oh, I know, I know, they uh, suffocated for a while yeah. And, yeah. Uh, and, then, and then came lots uh, of ex explosions. Yeah, bang, and, zoom, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. that's That's <laughs> I really enjoyed that. They're Don't get sick, too enthusiastic. Buddy. Now that they know where we are, they're gonna send out the next wave. Well, you know the old saying, an eye for an eye. <laughs> Breakfast <laughs> and tennis. Captain, <laughs> here they come again. Ooh, 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 catch them if you can. Ooh. There's no way out of this, sir. Sooner or later, one of them is gonna score a hit. Off the bomb. Colonel, you're ooh. Ooh. Can you guide us to a safe place to make an emergency landing? Well, uh, my uncle's got a planet. Let's crash there. Okay. If you want to stay alive, you're gonna have to help us. Where can we land? Well. I do know of a place. All right. Tell us where it is. Everyone calls it the Devil's Desert. It sounds pretty neat. If you're really willing to take the risk, I'll be glad to guide you. OK. Let's go. We're going to Vegas, everybody. Looks like the big blue marble. It does. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see here. There's Satan's Triangle, Lucifer's Elbow. Uh, oh, there, Dev Devil's Devil. Flying over a teenage skin eruption, sir. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> huh? We're landing there. 
You got a problem with that? Nice effect, though. Hold on tight. This is going to be a rough one. We'd better learn to get along. In the pipe. Five, five, five. <laughs> Careful! Careful! These sands are treacherous! They're headed straight for the dock! You know, this uh, film looks like it's scraping bottom. Yeah, yeah. Well, shall I let her down? <laughs> ah, note to myself. Put landing gear on this baby. Desert planets. Damn, just watch this thing. Looks like one of my old ski club overnights, you Ooh. know. Alpine Valley. Yep. A planet that evolved from Carob? I don't think so. In the God of Davida, baby. Oh, oh. Tammy! Tammy! Tell me true. A girl, a grim old warrior supposed to be brave. Yes. Get up. Sir. Who will break this? Well, what? Rocky. What? Who turned off the TV Rocky. set? Bloody Mary's all around. Come on, put yourself together. Uh, tell him, to, him to pull yourself together? Ken, better check the others. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, aye, aye, Captain. Dan, snap out of it! Oh. Billy! Don't be a hero! Colonel, you're ruined! Ah, uh, drive through clowns? I want a sunrise biscuit! Come on in there! Uh, will you look at that? It's so hot in here, it feels like a steam bath. And me without a towel. Rocky, better get the area on the screen. Okay. Oh, wow, they gotta watch their own Captain. reruns? What a nightmare. I wonder how much damage we've got. I don't know. I want every inch of this craft checked out. Yes, every sir. inch. Even the inch under your seat? Yeah. Every inch. Every Get to inch. it. Even the dirtiest huh. inch in the kitchen? Every single inch. Even that inch? Well, that at least we're on yeah. the ground Seems again. Like there's an inch over there that they All right, I better go help the others. This is Nick DiPaolo for Comedy Central. New from the Star Force line of action figures, it's Captain Joe, the boozy, brawling, bloated Bacchus three commander from the beloved Fugitive Alien series. Dizzy Gillespie cheeks all temperly. Yes, he swaggers, he staggers, and he even talks. Um, the fellow would do a lot worse than throwing with a lot of Bacchus three. Set him up, barkeep. Flask and travel bar not included. Yes, with your Captain Joe action figure, you'll be in a constant state of excitement while he's in a state of denial. Uh, I only drink on the weekend. I can drink. Existential void, we're prohibited. Sure, he's got a problem, but you don't have to watch him deteriorate. After all, you spent $9.95 for him. Tax and license not included. You can have hours of fun as you organize a crisis intervention for Captain Joe. Captain Joe, I am not going to sit here and watch you deteriorate. Captain Joe, when I, Ken and I had you over to eat, you got drunk on cooking sherry and made a pass at me and threw up all over the Malibu dream house. Captain Joe, dude, I loved you, but I'm not gonna sit here and watch you cowabungle your life. And don't forget, kids, if Captain Joe refuses to deal with the issues, you can always try, try to, to kill, kill him with a forklift. 12 step, workbook optional, product not included in some boxes. Joe Namath, netted slingshot brief, sold separately. Yeah, Well, let's Oops. go. Hey. Wait. hey, where are you going? Rocky? I'm sorry. Thanks. You and Tammy are staying here. What for? As soon as we've left, I want you to bring Bacchus Three to a safer place. Sir, do you think you're doing the right thing? What do you mean? I was told when the mission is dangerous, uh, it's the older men who are the ones to stay behind. Rocky, that's an order. Impressive eye contact. Mm. Sir, that's crazy. You can't go on a forced march through this desert at your age. Let me go. I'll command my own mission. And you, Pull my finger. you're told. I'll never shirk my responsibilities. Not never. even when my hip cracks. I'll say. Rocky! Have you Again? got your mind? This is one order I can't <laughs> obey. You'll disobey it over my dead body. OK. Rocky, don't! Shoot me if you've got the guts. My orders still stand. 
Squeeze. Ah! Hey, uh, you did it. Captain! Oh, Captain, my Captain! I'll kill you for that! Don't get excited. I wouldn't shoot my chief with live ammunition. It's a knockout dart. Of course, it pierced his It'll colon. It'll just put him out of commission for an hour or so. Help me get him to someplace comfortable. Kent, grab his legs. Now then, we've got a mission to accomplish. That was going to be the first time he's passed out cold and he's going to wake up sober. <laughs> Peekaboo. It's Abin and Costello in Turning Japanese. <laughs> All right, let's go. And man was born of woman, and they both inhabited the earth. Tammy, I want you to contact us as soon as you've moved back as three to a safer place. Call us on our micro radios. Right. We'll try to maintain contact from our end. And don't forget, keep us in radar range. You can count on it. <coughs> oh, care, and uh, you job. better lock up the liquor cabinet and hide the key. <laughs> you know what I mean? We're headed for adventure. We'll leave tell me behind. We're gonna pat out the film some more. And you'll fall asleep. Three, four. We're climbing the sandy hill. Like you That's good. really care. That's funny. Sorry. Faster! Yes, yes sir. sir. There's spiders all over me. Get them off me. Get them off me. <laughs> like you know, it's the funniest sensation. The room's not spinning. Hmm. I'll kill that Rocky. Again? Get him. I took the liberty of changing your jumpsuit, Captain. sir. Are they in radar range? Yes, sir. They're right here on the screen. 22 degrees east northeast. <laughs> I'm not in right now, but if you'd like to leave a message with my shoulder. Rocky. Again. Read me. <laughs> Rocky. I read you. Again. Clear. Stop it. We're advancing on our objective. That was a dirty trick you played on me. <clears throat> Why don't you court martial me over a cold beer when this mission is over? And a shot? All right. Now I want you guys to be careful. This is a very tricky operation. Yes, sir. And you. Get a good rest. One of these days, you'll thank me for what I did. Shoulder phone off. Rocky. Again. Sorry. Pong? Hmm. Uh, Rocky. Again. I'll bust you. him when this is over. <clears throat> <laughs> Sorry, I was thinking about something else, sir. <laughs> We're marching on a big sand hill. We realize you've had your fill as we march up on this big sand Just stop hill. Stop Hey, Just corn! Stop. Hey, corn! Get down! There's a watchtower. Oh, but I kid the Jehovah's Witnesses, ladies and gentlemen. I love them. <laughs> hey, check it out. They're fighting ZZ Top. Wow. Hey, Dave. Oh, hi, Evan. I think they swiped this music from Mission Impossible. Get in as close as you can. I'll try to divert the guards. And watch out for the percussionists. They might have tambourines. Let go of my leg. What's the matter? Don't you trust me? What guarantee do we have that you won't double cross oh, us? Oh, I'll leave you my keys. Look, if you attack that post head on, those machine guns will mow you down in a matter of seconds. Hey, Mo! You know the way I feel. I've got a score to settle with this country. And a song no in his heart. My loyalties lie. He's true to his school. Okay. Saving I'll still keep you covered. Shh. Now. Walk the way I walk. I'll hunker down like that. Plan B, Merce Cunningham. Guten Tag, Aussie Schleppschel. Hey, it's high definition TV. Go, Duce. Oh, hey, you got a little toilet paper in your shoe there. <laughs> it's coming out of the loop. I keep it. Now, on with it. He did sell us out. Ah, uh, sir, it's the Peter Frampton alarm. It only goes off in the 70s. Noticed. A rat always returns to his hole. 
This is Operation Desert Boar. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Sounds like the teacher from the Peanuts TV specials. He's going to shoot us himself. Well, I'm Attack. flattered. Gallipoli. Oh, oh, neat. Cross of iron in color. George, Paul, John, Pete Best. You like it's my fort? Made it out everybody. of refrigerator boxes. Oh, no. mm. yeah, now it looks like Lawrence of Arabia, except for the pink shiny pleather suits. <laughs> oh, come on, girls. <laughs> <laughs> We're filled with mirth. Uh, We're the funny We show you where have all the dead guys gone. Oh. Looks like I had you worried for a while. Oh. You think anything's wrong? It seems all right so far, sir. Good. Hey, that uh, Westinghouse symbol kind of got wrecked in the crash. <laughs> Tommy? Yes, sir. We've got to get this ship out of here before the next sandstorm. That clear? <laughs> yes, sir. OK. Hmm. Now, here's the liquor store, and there's Tom Thumb. Now, you take two lefts, and you're there. This no is problem. it. The Red Star is the security zone. We are still 35 miles to weathership Tango Delta. OK, now it's our turn to move. Let's go. High keeper, Captain. Do, 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 do. Now strap in tight. Let's get set for action. To launch the ship out of the sand. He they tried to kill us with a fork with a dab. <laughs> While Captain Joe moves the spacecraft closer to the secret installation, the crew of Bacchus III, disguised as Cesar soldiers, advances cautiously. Me, I'm Carl, the narrator. I used to work with Ken. I do these voiceovers to finance what I really want to do. And what's that, Carl? Decoupage. <laughs> Thank you. What are they doing at the Joshua Tree National Forest? Mm. You got me. Oh, now this is the nice side of the Devil's Desert. Oh, of course. Have they got the super weapons stored in this depot? No, but they've got Mr. Freezy's. It. it must be here. It sure doesn't look like a high security installation. Yeah, it looks like nothing. Yeah. Guess most of it's underground. Yeah, they even got a bowling alley in the basement. It's just like the White House. It's really cool. But comedy. Yeah, it's a nature out. Oh, how charming. Stop here. Hmm? Wait, there's your punch. Damn, zither balls everywhere. Oh, the no. Okay. Don't go near that. Looks like we're in the giraffe lot here. <laughs> hmm. He's making something. Uh, <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Hi, Kiba. Well, good thing we're not branches. Just as I thought. They've got the whole installation surrounded by a lethal ray. Martha ray. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's all we need. This super weapon must be an incredibly powerful device. If they need this elaborate a system to protect it. No, Ken. Don't try it. Yeah, nice kanky you're, you're working on there, If you get anywhere near Rocky. that team, it'll vaporize you in seconds. <laughs> Don't even have to... That's that cool! Oh! Wow! Oh. 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 The mockery flop! Dude. It discovered Flubber! Oh. Oh. Yeah. Fun! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Billy, you're next. Let's go. What about my rifle? What? There you There's your rifle. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There. That red spot hasn't moved an inch. But it's healing nicely. I hope they're all right. <laughs> They'll be fine. They know if they blow this one, I'm going to kick them right out of the service. Mm. You remind me of my father. <laughs> oh, let's keep our mind on our <clears throat> work, shall we? Oh, it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> Having a Star Wolf along has its advantages. Rocky, let's go. I'm with you. And without you. musical. <laughs> All boring on the Western Front. <laughs> Rocky, come over here. Again? No, he didn't. Come way over here. Look. Check that out with your field glasses. Oh. 
Hmm. Say, not bad. So it is underground. Rocky! There's a Rocky. world going on underground. It's us. Say, hey, wait a minute. Did we just do another hop thing? Hey, it's, it's us again. Are we are unstuck in time or something? It won't be easy getting into this place. How will we do it? Easy. Wait, wait a minute. Those ID tags. We can get our hands on them. We can waltz right through. Why not take the whole uniform? And rumble right in. I'm Chet. Welcome to Arby's Training School. Again, I'm Chet, if you need anything. I'll write it down. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? They're nude! <laughs> Good luck. Arby Johnson, I thought so. Jack Sue. Hey. Boots are made from walking. Lay down the boogie and play the fucking music till you die. Jack Oakey? Mm -hmm. Oh, that was easy. Again, I'm Chuck. I haven't seen those guys here before. Nice looking guys, yeah. though. You know how it is, they're always sending in reinforcements. We are 22 minutes to weathership Tango Delta. Captain! I saw it! They made it inside. I knew they would. Uh -uh. Got the call, man. I got the shaft. Ooh. <laughs> it's Bruce Lee and Bruce Lee in a collision course with wackiness. <laughs> Crotch cam. I'm huge. <laughs> hey, do you guys have a hall pass? I do Come on. Hi, Kiva. Get that suit pressed and trim the hair on your nose. That's all. Yeah! Zipper oh, lamps everywhere. Huzzah. <laughs> nice boots. Over here, a little further behind this rock. Yeah. Mm. For the walking sequence, special director Roger Carman. Yeah, quit panting. So shut up. Nothing, nothing, act natural, hi. Mm -hmm. Garrison's gorillas in color. Cesar Romero! Do somebody say a Cesar Romero? <laughs> okay, let's do it now. What, here? Oh, yeah. Here? What? Why not? Oh. Hold it. Now! It's Mom's old vaudeville stuff! What do you know? Wait a minute. It's the lobby at Caesar's Palace! I thought so. Cool. Are they blue or not? The plastic thing! Ooh. I can smash this along. Is that all there is to it? Quiet, just wait. Your superhuman strength may not be enough against a machine like that. We've got to do this slowly and carefully. So you can thoroughly bore the viewers. Mm -hmm. Neat. Well, guys, I'm having a hard time telling how big this is. Can we have something on the screen to uh, figure out the scale here? Attention, attention. Oh. This is Field Marshal Talza, your commander-in-chief. And Grand Puba. I am proud to announce that a new age has begun for the people of Caesar. Oh, that explains the crystals. From this moment on, mm -hmm. with our superior no, weapons and military all. strength, we can meet any challenge. Not even the supposedly invincible wolf raiders from Valnestar can threaten us anymore. From now on, we shall be able to oh, crush them. Sorry, ladies. And destroy their very planet. Lunch today is chicken fried steak and whipped Cesar potatoes. Are ready to dominate the world. Sir, we've achieved the final breakthrough. We're getting ready to... No speeches, soldier. Get back to your Please post. Excuse me, sir. Ooh. I promise to pay more attention to my duties. What a dope hit um. Come on. Halt! Nobody's allowed past this point. You must be a new recruit. No, yes, sir, sir. A blue recruit. Go on in. Yes, sir. Right away. Out of the way. 
Sir, I was ordered not to let anyone pass this These point. These men are all right. They're really good guys, especially that shopper. He's a <laughs> nut. All done in there? It's a super Tom servo with thrush busters and glass packs. Wow. Tunnel rim. Four barrel. Chopped and channeled. Cool. Look at that. Like a beating heart. Like a beating heart liberal. <laughs> Ken, you plant the time bomb. Okay. <laughs> Wait, they're gonna destroy it with refrigerator magnets? Yes, my detachment was on maneuvers in the northernmost part of the country. Yeah, it was blast. I don't was remember really seeing fun. you here before we left. You're a sleek young no, fellow. Thin. It's an trim. honor to serve here. Yes, sir. I know that, sir. We had a competition in our unit. I was the bluest. I was the winner. That's why I was selected for guard duty at this installation. Ah, uh, you've created quite a little world for yourself, I see. <laughs> Hide the bomb. It's your ruling with that kid. Open the door. I haven't got all day. Well, I do, but I don't want to give it all up for this, is what I mean. Everything all right? Yes, sir. Everything's just fine. Good. Let's go. Bye. Thanks for the checkup. He's so cool. Thanks. You're a fine soldier. The next time I see your commander, I'll tell him you're doing a good job. Oh, thank you, Colonel. Let's do lunch. Good You're lunch. it. Mm. I could talk to that guy till I'm blue in the face. Thanks for keeping him distracted. The time bombs are ready to go off. Oh, he's a swell kid. Hate to see him die. <laughs> They're playing my song. Kirkalisting number 15. Eine kleine Nachtmusik. Masterpiece Theater is brought to you by a grant from the Mobile Corporation. You can't just stand there, sir. Watch me. We've got to get out of here. This is our Cesar anthem. So what? Every day at this hour, we all stand at attention and renew our loyalty to the homeland. That's great. While the others are standing at attention, We'll get up. Yeah, that's great. You stand at attention and I'll pick you up and carry you. Come on. <laughs> Here, are those uh, Blaupunk speakers? They sound great. And the home of the brave. <laughs> hey, buddy. What's wrong? Can you hear? Colonel! Psst. Colonel! x on Let's the edge on. play. It's that music. It has an effect on him. When he hears it, he snaps to attention. The guy's crazy. We've got no time for patriotism now. That bomb is about to go off. Colonel, we gotta get out of here. Come on down, sir. There's no time to lose. Huh? My country needs me! Colonel. You know, his country would win more wars if its get national up. anthem was shorter. Yeah. What happened to you? Somebody finger Say painted something. me. It's uh -oh. my time. Uh, get off my chest. Red alert! Red alert! Message received. Nobody gets in here. Without a tuxedo and a note from Mr. Gotti. Oh, sir, you can't go in there. Out of my way! Infidel. Stay where you are. One more step and I'll shoot. He didn't take a step. What is he, a Chicago cop, that guy? Oh, look, he's doing Joe Cock. What would you think? Arby's lost one good worker. He was the best damn fry cook they had. Adios, sweet friend. Space Camp with Kate Capshaw. We are unable to reach the primary target, sir. We will go to alternate target at Laputa. It's 15 minutes. We're not famous anymore. Kenny, the others aren't out. There's something wrong, sir. I have confidence in them. They're all professionals. Yeah, I'll be inside a bottle if you need me. I hate patronizing answers. Hmm? Ah! Hmm. Ooh. Ah! Our prisoners are baked, not fried. Dad! Dad! Billy! Do not attempt to adjust your TV. Don't wait for me. Go on ahead. Ooh, wait. Get the wrong guy. Billy, save yourself. There they are. Laser Wall by Peter Max. <laughs> Billy, don't try to fight them off. Run for it. I'll come back for you, Dad. <laughs> yeah, right. You'll never see him again. 
Hey, this is great. It looks like a canceled stamp. <laughs> Well, time for a drink. Yep. It's getting later and later. Tammy, I think we'd better take off. Ready? Yes, Captain. All right. Flying high now. You're into what? What? Dan was trapped. Yes, I tried to help him, but... He already chewed half his leg off. Ooh. I heard what he said. I can rescue Dan. Can you get him out before the I bomb goes off? I can try. We've got to be sure. We'll never save Dan by talking about it. I never say well, we then could. let's sing about it. Billy, you stop worrying. <laughs> okay. Thanks for cheering wait, me up. Wait. You're a pip. You guys better get out of here quick. Nothing doing. I'm going with you. No, you're not. You get back to the ship. I want to help you rescue Dan. I want to know what love is. You're injured, Lake. You'd only be in my way. This is great. Do we have to see this? Come on. Sounds like he's getting a tattoo oh. with a busy buzz buzz or something. Oh, Victor Kayab, why did you have to buy the company? Your mission here. <laughs> Shaves like a blade. Oh, money back. I'm going to have to dwell again. You were collecting information on our secret weapon. You're a spy, aren't you? Huh? Now, Rince, please. Is it safe? Who sent you here? If you don't look good, we don't look good. I see. You're not enjoying this. Now, I think you'd better answer us. Otherwise, things will get even worse. <laughs> Just a little off the top. Talk. talk. Talk, talk. By Talk, talk. From the album, Talk, talk. Well, it could get ripped flying a crap duster if you live long enough. <laughs> Man, should I be driving? I mean, uh, I've already got two DWIs. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> interpretive death. Flip shot to a somersault. Pretty routine. I've yeah. seen that before. Hey, it's a three-legged race. <laughs> Fine. Huh? Oh, Snaggletooth. Captain, they're back on the screen. That's great. Mm -hmm. uh, didn't I tell you that they were professionals? Yes, sir. Professional uh, what? Uh, Is that dubbed? That sounds like it might uh, be dubbed. Pretty much. It's Thanks. dubbed. Hey, time's running out. Hurry. There's only seven minutes left. I know that, you idiot. Dan's still in there. And he's got the keys to your van, and his dad was going to buy us a keg. Here, you want a sandwich? I got chicken salad and some peanut Sorry, butter and jelly. I didn't mean to yell at you. Rocky, it's all my fault. I should never have abandoned him. It's no one's fault. And if anyone can save him, it's Ken. You did the right thing in getting help. Yeah, it's Ken's fault. Yeah. Now put yourself together. Look at that. Over there. Odd. It's that plane's dust and crap, or there ain't no crap. This is your last chance, Earthling. Now, who sent you here and why? Now remember, the first blade pulls the whisker out, capiche? Weapon. What? Now we're getting somewhere. Who sent you? Oil can? Did he say oil can? Mm -hmm. Increase the voltage. How much do you think you can take? He's an electroholic. Ohm is too many and a trillion isn't enough. Oh. Ohm is the loneliest number, you know. <laughs> Hurry, all of you. We've got to locate that bomb. Yes, sir. Come on, men. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, no, you don't. Huh? Huh? Van Dam and Van Dam in Van Dam you all to hell. <laughs> dog, Van Dam. Wow, this is great. The uh, director chooses close ups for the action sequences. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, great. They're still parking. Boy. Even now. Hard to find a spot. They communicate by gasping. Hey, look, Edelweiss. Pretty. Rocky, hurry! Again? 
Where's Ken and Dan? That's a good question. Let's talk about it on the way home. In five minutes, that bomb goes off. And they're still in there. We have to leave. Why are they still in there? What happened to Ken? Uh, oh, he's into Barbie. It's sad, really. Take off in 20 seconds. But you're skirting the whole Ken issue. Every time I really like a guy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I love my work. I never think I've got to go to work. I just love it. Okay. I keep it. Nice dismount, Jim Cotta. Jim Cotta. That's fun. Hey. Good one. Hat, shit. What is, yeah, what is Ken? E easy, that's it. Easy does it. I'm serious about mufflers. <laughs> Three minutes till the explosion. I can still get in a quick one. Yeah, we gotta get in a quick one too, guys. Oh. Please wait, sir. Ken and Dan can't be that far away. Huh. <laughs> Ken! Ken made it! This is the song starting off our medley. Our favorite fugitive alien song. Don't try to kill us with a forklift. It won't take very long. Relax and sing along. Thank you. Thank you. You know, Tommy, a movie like Fugitive Alien can make you cry. And it can make you cry. Ah, yes. But the thing I treasure most, and I'm speaking from the heart here, this mm -hmm. is totally off script, mm -hmm. is the music. Oh, this is so true, Mon Crow. Songs of love and adventure, and if I may, whimsy, no? Huh? <laughs> but you know, my favorite was the heart-rending ballad in which the wistful Tammy pledges her love to Ken. It goes a little something like this. <clears throat> Three, four. I love Ken, he is my sweet friend, and I love him. I love, love him. Ken, he is my sweet friend, and I love I'm him. I'm so blue, cause I don't think Ken loves me. I'm so blue, cause I don't think Ken loves me. I'm all messed up inside, I might have to off I'm him. I'm all messed up inside, I might have to off I'll frame him. Rocky and get away scot free. I'll frame Rocky and get away he's got me. I love Ken, he is my sweet friend and I Fera love him. Jaca, Fera Jaca, I'm so blue cause I don't think Ken loves me. Sonia Martina, I'm all messed up inside, I might have to I saw three ships come sailing in on Christmas day, on Christmas day. I'll frame Rocky and get Always got free. I love Ken. I love Ken. All right, this Whoa. band is marvelous, oh, aren't they, ladies Whoa. and gentlemen? Cam yeah. Bob Brown and his band Renown. Oh, Give yeah. it up All for right. them. Yeah. Smoke it. Yeah. One, two, three. It's got a real cool feel. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Flying high with a Star Wolf. Ha! Yeah. We're firing up the ship. And we're hitting the town. With Groovy Ken and Tammy. Swinging Rocky and Joe. Wild man. And those two other guys who we don't really know. Forget them. Lay down the boogie and head for the stars, man. Thanks, Joe. Oh, that was fun. But if I could get a little serious for a moment, well, I was wondering where we'd be without our boys and girls in shiny red pleather. It makes me proud to know that they're out there somewhere. Look and you see, flying so fancy free, fighting for you and me, Captain Joe in the game. When they pass by, throw them a bug and bite, cut them in the neck with die, and turn the blue. That's really good, Chips. Did you want to do one with me? Huh? You want to do one with me? Let's all do it. We are going to find Sandy Frank. We just want to ask him why. We want to stick it to Sandy Frank and sit on his chest and go on his face and make him cry. Yeah! Let's roll, take it home. I'm feeling really good. Feel 
so good it shows! Yeah! Yeah! Two, three, and that's our song. We hope that you enjoy it. And if you thought that it was stupid and dry, come on and kill us with a forklift. All we want to do with love from us to you is sing the best we can No, no, you are Mr. <laughs> show Business. Oh, well, it was you are able to smoke no. in. Absolutely. Catchy. Ooh. Oh, no! Hey! A big mega servo this one up there. No. Oh, God. Oh, they, they blew it up before we found out what it was. Blued? Blued it up. Now, well, you see, this is why we don't let teenagers into hotels anymore. This kind of stuff. Definitely new kid. Mm. <gasps> Look, huh? sir. All right. Oh, <laughs> terrific. Super, really super. Here it goes. All right. Ah, cherry bar cherry. I haven't won all day. Never found out how big that thing was, really. Oh, no. Yeah. No relative scale. Wait, wait, what was the plot here? They blew that up, too. <laughs> it's Farvanugan gone horribly wrong. I'll see. Hey, you know what this reminds me of? Thunderbirds are go! Yeah. <laughs> Remember? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah, that looks familiar. Hey, do they have another Herb Albert tape? I'm really getting sick of this. Uh, eight track recycled again. Uh, you know, that really does look good, though. It looks neat. Pretty impressive. Mm -hmm. Did Kissinger order this? I think it was Schwarzkopf. Oh. So there's stuff blowing up then. Pretty much. Yep, it's pretty neat. Kind of yep. Neat. yep. Blowing it up. Yep. Yep, for doodle do. That's the money to blow here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is pretty cool. It does look good, though. Oh, great. Really good. Orgy of destruction. Sorry, everyone. Sorry. Only meant to blow up that one thing. Sorry. It's a bridge on the River Kwai over there. Blow up the bridge. Yep. And they still haven't hit that. Oh, here it goes. Whoa. Uh -oh. Next on MacGyver. <laughs> Can't begin to tell you how proud I am of you guys. Because I'm the drunk. greatest crew a captain ever had. <laughs> hey, Ken. Hmm? Pull my finger. Then do that funny face you do. <laughs> yeah, fun. <laughs> Pull my finger, too. I love it when they do that. See, it's all working out. I wish your mother were here to see this. <sighs> hmm. So, yeah. Rangers. Uh, Gene I'm Simmons? I'm delighted to report good news. A research center on Earth has just developed a bomb that can destroy a whole planet. And you guys can't cut a simple steak and shrimp combo. You will gain control of that bomb, and then Dalna will dominate the universe. Yes, Master. The University of Wisconsin-Madison, a tradition of excellence for over 200 years. I've been years. waiting for you, Captain. Five neat guys. Not very wise. Hey, they're at the Reynolds Aluminum the plant. It's too dangerous. I'm sorry my father was detained. He what? wanted to welcome nope. you. Mother! Hmm? What? What's up, Ken? It's Who is tripping. that? Looked like my mother. Why'd she run away? Because she hated kids, maybe? Mother! Ooh. Hey, not so fast, Ken! Take it easy. You know you haven't seen her in several years. Sounds like they're yes. playing the Godfather They said that she died, mm -hmm. but no one ever really proved it. That's why I... Ken, snap out of it. Come on, this is your mother now. Try her out. We've been assigned to escort this young lady. I beg your pardon. Hi, That's Kiba. all right. The problem is my father. Sure. Ever since he developed that bomb, all sorts of people have been threatening me. Look, sir. Uh -huh. 
We're being attacked by models from members only. Take cover! Oh no, it's the Dave Clark Five and they're being attacked by Dino, Desi, and Billy. It's like one of those obsession ads. If this is love, then find me guilty. Hey, it's the guys from Delta Epsilon. It's the guys from Sigma Phi. This kind of stuff always happens on campus. Yeah. Those soldiers move faster than I expected. Yeah. The important what, Guido Sarducci? To the manufacture of my invention. Sugar in this gum? Be preserved on this microfilm. So it doesn't stick to dental work, eh? You mean this little film mm -hmm. contains information on a bomb powerful enough to blow up the entire universe? No matter what happens to me, Captain, this microfilm must not fall into the wrong hands. Why are they meeting in the my shower? Daughter asked me not to make this invention public. By the way, you're I sitting on the me. urinal. Oh, Tammy's got a Weber. There she is again! Mother, why does she always run away? And why is she younger than me? Uh-oh. Oh, man. Now he's outside. I'd say this part of the movie needs a strict rewrite. It's a little weird. Hey, Mom! Where'd you get the meadow? We're the catering squad. Hi, Kiba. Greetings from our headquarters. We have orders to bring you there. Uh, Captain sporting a bike rack there. <laughs> Tell your headquarters they can forget their orders. Captain! <laughs> Ash Wednesday, Cesar style. Ouch. Filmed in convolution vision. <laughs> also. What in the same scratch is going on? This is an entirely different movie we're watching here. It was Hulk. Who? Fred Blitnikoff. Hey, this side shoots to the left. It'll recite it. Ken. Where the hell did you come from? All three of them were to be taken back to Valna. Get me a spoon. Halkin was going to hold them as hostages. Just a minute. This lady can tell you the rest. The rest of the story. Halkin Page made two. me do it. He wanted me to infiltrate your operation posing as Ken's mother. Then he was going to kill her. Like I'd better pay Halkin a visit. <laughs> Ken. You're not going to Valna. Dressed like That's that. That's crazy. He's right, Ken. What other choice do I have? You could get a smaller belt buckle. take on Halkin? No way. Jose. Jose. It's gotta be me. It's just gotta Space be Command me. Accept no responsibility. You'd be acting on your own, Ken. All we can do is wish you good luck. Maybe pack you a few sandwiches, I understand. but that's it. That'd be nice. He must be destroyed by a star wolf. You'll always be a star wolf. Never a star. <laughs> is that so awful? If I'm able to use my strength for a good cause... I'm just doing what Jerry does Goodbye, for those Captain. kids. Don't be a fool. Don't be a fool with your life, Billy. Nobody admires you more than I do. But you're no match for Halkin. Don't be so sure. Halkin trained me for every sort of combat. And he taught me well. One thing that Halkin didn't teach you was to fight as dirty as he does. <laughs> which is the reason why... You better take some Earthlings along. Because we're basically scum. That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> Thing for you. I wonder what the king is drinking tonight. Oh, another Orin hatch. No, this one's a Richard hatch. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> One wretched Star Wolf. Two wretched Star Wolves. I don't see any danger in that. He had a space escort with him. What's become of the others? Well. We're trying to locate them, Master. He's cute. I want Rockford dead. Every one of them. If they're not dead by nightfall, you'll die. Ooh, yes, Master. He is cute. Kind of looks like Tammy Faye, mm -hmm. I think. Star Wolf. Looking for me. <laughs> Hello, Star Wolf. Hello, Shoyle. Alkin. I promised I'd return here to settle the score. Uh, I believe it was 15, love, something like that. Don't move. <laughs> <laughs> you 
You know you can't bring yourself to kill me. I'm wearing my magic rain cape and ski gloves. After all, Star Wolf, I'm the one who created you. Everything you are and everything you know, you learned from me. Oh, yeah. Well, everything I learned, I learned in kindergarten. The courage to pull that uh -oh. trigger. You're wrong. Everything I learned from you was wrong. Like three the card money. Everything you ever taught me was evil. 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 Now I've seen another way of life. A life that's honest and decent. I'm going to become a nun. And I've come back to destroy you and your evil. Ness. Thing. Now die. No, you're the one that's going to die. No, you're the one who's going to die. No, it's you. No, you're the one who's going to die. Who's going to die? Maybe I am going to die. Hi, Kiba. Now I want you to sing like Tommy Toon. <laughs> Lord Halkin, Bacchus, Bacchus III is headed straight for our fortress. Well, I'll say. Uh, kind of looks like Captain Joe's in the bucket, you know? Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, he's had a few. It's the opening of Mannix. Right. Sorry. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> That was convenient. That's a good defensive move. Summer's halts. Ah. Oh. Classic Mannix disarm. Jackie Chan, he is not. Wait a minute, Star Wolf. Why don't we discuss this? Over a cocktail and some calamari. Put down that sword. What's the good of killing me? We can be allies. My nut! Big mistake. You're dumber than I thought. Die, Star Wolf! Oh, another one. You know, women just shouldn't hang around this guy. Mother. Thanks, substitute mom. Um, can listen. I'm not your real mother. But an but incredible simulation. Jesus. Don't die. Ken. Hey, happened? neat. Where'd you get the girl on a stick? Uh, this must be Halkin's work. Yeah, let's notice the fine detail of the craftsmanship. Look. Halkin's getting away. No. Yes. yes. No, he's not. Supercar. Supercar. This is it? This is it. The night of nights. No more rehearsing and nursing our parts. Oh, sorry. Uh, this is Bernard Shaw in downtown Bagtown. I'm under a table. I'm writing candy. Oh, no, that was George Bernard Shaw. Again? No, no. So, uh, why do you think they're fighting over Heidelberg? <laughs> He's got to go bad, that one. Puppet chips to the rescue! To try to kill us with a forklift. Woo! Where have I seen this before? Oh, I don't know. Long time ago in a galaxy far, far away? Yeah. That's it. Pretty much. Attack! Oh, he's urging himself on. Self-motivation. Now die! You die, Joel! You'll never destroy me, Star You can't Wolf. destroy me. I quit! Oh, well, this has at least got to slow him down. I mean, please. But a chink in his get along. There goes old Maine. The whole campus is gone now. Mm. A chink in his get along? Are you glad we're heading for Earth? <laughs> yeah. Because they have Dennis uh, there. There's a girl I can hardly wait to see. <laughs> a girl, you switch hitter, you. What's wrong with you, Ken? I would have thought you'd be a little more enthusiastic. Captain. Gang. I've got something to tell you. I want to be a woman. You guys. What? No, no, no. no I'm it was great knowing you. It was? I've got to go back to Velna. Yeah, we hear your theme song. Ken! What do you hope to accomplish there? Well, he signed up for a health club membership, and he now. should use the rest of it. It was 18 The months. land destroyed. 
Perhaps I can help build a new nation there. A new civilization. So you think you can change the world, do you? That's an impossible job. You'd need ten lifetimes to complete it. Think it over. Why don't you just stick with us, Ken? After all, you started life as an earthling. Yeah, I'll get help. Maybe My hire some staff. My parents went to as missionaries and died there. I want to finish the work. Well, it's not exactly on our way. It's your but... decision. Boy, his cheeks are huge. Good luck, Ken. Star Wolf. Thanks, I, I think. I'll just shake your hand. But I won't kiss you. I don't like the bites. <laughs> Billy. Don't be a hero, man. It's been great. Thanks. Dan. Uh, or whatever your name is, new guy. I think I would have liked We've you. We've been through a lot together. Yeah. No, Soul brother. Tammy. I'll never forget you. And I'll never forget you, um, uh, Ken. Ooh, doll hands. Ah, grow up. Hey, they're gonna land on that bowling ball. Ready now. Take off. Take off, Hoser. Sweet Prince. Oh, look at that suit. What is it going to be in swing choir or something? <laughs> and we have closure. Yay! <laughs> Fugitive Alien will be back in Fugitive Alien Come Home. Fugitive Alien 3, the next day, the final chapter, 3000. Let's see here, uh, Brewster's Millions, uh, Brian's Song. Oh, no, no, I couldn't okay. handle Brian's Song again, Crow. When I saw that, I was dewy-eyed for a week. Oh, it didn't affect me that way at all. Well, you know, I had some other things going on in my life at the hey, time, and I'd rather What are you doing? Oh, right. we're just looking through Leonard Moulton's movie guide, uh, thinking of shooting the Mads a memo, uh, hoping that they'd welcome some input on the experiment selection. Yeah, you know, they don't have to all be as bad as the one we saw today. <laughs> now, maybe all our interests can be served, gang. It can be a win-win situation. Yeah. I don't know about that. That, uh, the Mads seem to be pretty territorial about stuff like that. One thing you have to admit at the end of this movie, that uh, evil villain they had was uh, actually pretty evil, you know? Oh, you mean the one with the heavy rouge? <laughs> yeah, and the face that was dipped in a huge vat of whiteout. <laughs> yeah, that guy. <laughs> I know what you mean, Joel. He scared me so much, I almost started watching the movie. Yeah, well, he was kind of like uh, somebody's idea of everything evil all rolled into one, you know? Yeah, you got a point there, Joel. Kind of brought together the terrifying aspects of Nazis and mimes. And Marsha Mason. <laughs> oh, or Marilyn Quayle. Oh, there you oh, go. Oh. Well, listen, if you guys wanted to, how would you make your ultimate evil person? Who would it be made up of? Mm, let's see. I'd combine the Wolfman and the Mothra and the bad Lee Marvin from Cat Baloo. Oh, Ooh. yeah, that's great. Uh, I'd take Tom T. Hall, uh, add Roy Clark, and a little Donna Fargo. Oh, the possibilities. <laughs> Richard Nixon, Richard III, and Keith Richards. You know, but according to the Fellowship of the White Boar, Richard III was actually a fine yeah, man you know, and a good I sovereign. I don't even really think of Ke Keith Richards as that evil. Oh, though. but he's so scary. Oh, Richard Basar, Richard Basar. Richard Basehart. Uh, but Gypsy, you uh, you like Richard Basehart. Ooh. That's nice, girl. It's, it's really nice. How about uh, Howie Mandel, uh -huh. uh, David Brenner, and Gallagher? Yeah, or Ooh. David Brenner, Andy Rooney, David Brenner, and a ferret. Oh, oh yes. that one stung. Originally, anyway. I hate Mondays. Yeah. yeah, I know what you mean. Anyway. I think we need something kind of uplifting, so Perfect. I brought along these letters here. All right. Uh, this first one, let's put that on still store cam. Uh, this oh. first one comes from an Eddie Hogan of New Jersey. He writes, hello, my name is Eddie, and I would like to join your information club. As you can tell, I'm not very good at good. I, I do not have very good writing, and I'm already 13. Uh-oh. That's too bad. It's over. Yeah. I hate school, homework, teachers, and cheesy movies. Good, well, that's good attitude, good. Eddie. Good. I'm a big fan, and I think you're all funny, even Gypsy. I watch your show on Saturdays. I would watch them Monday through Friday, but they're on at 10 a.m., and I'm in school falling asleep. 
Wow. Well, yeah, that's nice. Let's uh, get another yeah, one. That, that was really not uplifting, that. Joel, yeah. I gotta tell you. This one seems happier. Let's put this one up on Still oh, Story. Eddie, you might want to nice. get into breakfast. Nice drawing. Uh, cool. uh, anyway, well, this one has Tom Servo saying, what are we, cowboys? I'd like to shoot that intro. And then <laughs> Gypsy's there like saying, Richard Basehart, Ram Chips, huh? Yep, that's Ooh. her. And then Crow saying, shut up, I can't take any more. Get on with it already, jeez. Yeah, and then it's got up. me saying, well, it can also double as a can opener. And then it's got the mad saying, file this, Frank. And then Frank's saying, I will. I will file this. I will file it. It's really a nice rendition of Frank, too, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. it is. That's pretty good. Yeah, those people weren't even at all, were they? Yeah. You know, I yeah. came up with another one. Coffee, ice cream, paper cuts, and Dan Haggerty! Ah! Oh, no. oh, wow. You're Come just on. getting weird in that results and creativity. What do you think, sirs? Well, Martin Boober, I hardly think you're qualified to be considering the nature of evil. <laughs> Push the button, Frank. Hey, I like Tom T. Hall. Oh, Frank, think evil. I love... Baby duck. Oh, Frank, you're just embarrassing ducks. me now. Baby cookie, 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 baby, baby, no. I've got it fixed. It's all working again. This has been a presentation from Comedy Central.